Earth, a landscape from the fantasy classic Lord of the Rings, Thomas Mann's Magic Mountain, a sanatorium near Davos in Switzerland, and the legendary island of Atlantis, supposed to have sunk into the sea. These are three of the 30 fictitious places charted in the Atlas of Fictitious Places created by literature professor Werner Nell and illustrator Stefan Händel. This is all about presenting images and showing maps that demonstrate the power of human imagination in all its variety. And by showing these pictures, we are making something visible about the capacity and the limitations of the human imagination. The Atlas refers to imaginary places from books, such as Avalon, the mystical island from the King Arthur legend, or the island of the divine bottle from a work by Francois Rabelais. Many of the 30 literary sources are not geographically localized, such as Schlaraffenland, a paradise for gluttons, it was a challenge to illustrate. I had to decide what landscape to use. Did it have mountains? So I took it to its logical conclusion and used the human digestive tract. After all, it's all about eating. So using entrails felt right. A landscape of organs to create a country. Stefan Händel uses collage techniques in his work. He combines pictures from other sources with his own illustrations. Here he's photocopied the pictures he wants. His own drawing of a cake becomes a second layer on the page. The next step is to invent symbols for the cakes, hamburgers, and roast chickens. At the end, he colors the landscape pink on his computer, because Schlaraffenland is all about the desires of the flesh. In principle, the pictures are not there to provide an actual map like a road atlas to show how to get to a palace in a given city. The pictures describe the way the places arise from the imagination. To find his imaginary places, Handel combs nautical maps and artworks. In the case of Michael Ende's Island of Lommerland, he took his inspiration from a version by Augsburg's famous marionette theater. The Augsburger Puppenkiste's performance of the children's classic is probably the definitive depiction of the tiny island for most Germans. Stefan Händel thought up the bean shape of the island as it appears in the atlas. Its main features are Emma, the locomotive, lots of railway track, and the king's telephone. The illustrator regularly consults real reference works to find out how to represent rivers and mountains three-dimensionally. When it comes to the pantheon of Greek mythology, he uses temple designs from an encyclopedia of classical antiquity. What does the seat of the gods look like? I studied the usual ways of illustrating it. How do you draw the floor plan of a temple? I started with that and then built my own. Handel transferred a temple to photocopying paper. The mountains of Olympus come from aerial photographs. The Atlas of Fictitious Places takes the reader on a journey from the roots of Nordic mythology to the Knights of the Round Table in Camelot. And to the land of the imagination for all people who can open a book.